You can now get a 30-day trial to experience The Athletic for free. Visit the link in the description below to try it now. In this series, we analyse teams, identify problem areas and suggest solutions in the form of incoming players. We won't follow gossip, rumours or conjecture and we're concerned only with a player's on-field performance and their suitability for the role in question. Today's team is Arsenal. Welcome to Sensible Transfers. Arsenal are in a transitional year again. But this time it does feel like the club is heading in the right direction under Mikel Arteta. A summer transfer window widely derided has in fact yielded some good acquisitions. Aaron Ramsdale has excelled, while Albert Sambi Lekonga has shown himself to be a strong prospect. Martin Erdegaard has built on a good loan spell to become a key man, Ben White is finding his feet, and Takahiro Tomoyasu has been reliable. Arsenal are vibrant and young, with youth products like Smith Rowe and Saka leading the way. Their minutes played are largely skewed towards the 25 and unders. Only Thomas Partey, Alexandre Lacazette and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang have contributed significant pitch time as senior players. This squad regeneration and Arteta shifting between a 4-2-3-1 and a 4-4-2 of sorts has reaped benefits and will continue to do so, as the bulk of Arsenal's squad are still years away from their prime. However, Arsenal's results this season show that they are still very much in the big six, but towards the bottom end. Looking at expected goals for and against show the disparity. Arsenal are good to excellent against weaker sides, but crumble against the better ones. The above numbers might suggest that defence is the area that most needs improvement, but Arsenal have been overwhelmed in big games as much by their inability to retain the ball and contest the midfield. So, where should they strengthen? Now, there is an argument here that Arsenal should do a Manchester United and find their own Edinson Cavani. Such a leader at the top of the pitch, while also contributing goals, could add the kind of street smarts this team lacks against the toughest opposition, and help shape the younger prospects. Short of signing Cavani himself, though, it's hard to find an analogue with that combination of skills, and anyway, Arsenal's transfer policy of late has been firmly geared towards players with their best years ahead of them. An alternative younger pick, therefore, is Sassuolo's Gianluca Scamacca. He's tough, tall and combative, with high shot volumes and a brilliant defensive work rate. But he's also deft, more technical than a typical player of his build, and capable of moments of brilliance. Think Christian Vieri or even Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He's got bite to go with his technical excellence and would adjust well to the Premier League. But our choice is Real Sociedad's Alexander Isak. Isaac's goal contributions this season haven't matched last year's breakthrough, but he remains a superb dribbler and carries the ball into dangerous areas. He often starts wide left, which is reminiscent of Aubameyang's positioning, or even Gabriel Martinelli's, but assuming that they don't play together, that wouldn't be an issue. Isaac is technically excellent with elite link-up play, tall, strong and would offer Arsenal additional threat on the break. He also worked excellently with Erdegaard while the latter was on loan at Sociedad, which could be a pivotal connection. Now, Arsenal needs someone who can play off the right, ideally as an inverted winger in either shape, partly to ease the burden on Saka and partly because Saka might be wanted elsewhere. The player needs to be versatile, offer a carrying and passing threat and ideally weigh in with some goals. Samuel Chukwueze of Villarreal is an electric dribbler who more than holds up his end in terms of scoring and works most effectively on the right, cutting infield. He would be expensive though. In Serie A, Irving Lozano is a close fit in terms of profile to what Saka offers and could be available, but our pick is Juventus's Dejan Kulievski. Playing off the right or as a ball carrying rather than passing 10, Kulievski excels at wriggling or bursting through tight spaces. Now, there are similarities with Smith Rowe, but Kulievsky is a less conservative passer and should offer greater creative threat. He gets into the box often, although could improve his goal scoring rate, and these abilities would allow Arsenal to create the sort of fluid approach in attack that Arteta has been working towards, with players drifting in off the flanks, sitting off, or pushing up high, depending on where other players are. 
Arsenal's attacks work best when it's a less rehearsed version of the 2-3-5 shape, and the 5 is filled by a rotating cast rather than the same set of players. Gulievsky would fit this superbly. He'd also allow for tactical versatility, as he could allow Saka to play off the left or Erdogan to play deeper. Juventus are apparently open to offers, and the young Swede would not be out of Arsenal's price range. Now, the last and arguably least important position is central midfield. The key here is to add cover. Partey and Lekonga are a solid pair who will improve, but other options are thin beyond Granit Xhaka. Arsenal ideally want a well-rounded two-way midfielder who can pass progressively and defend, and who is able to contest Lekonga's spot. An intriguing option is Bologna's Matthias Vanberg, who has worked on his defensive attributes while still offering good passing and shooting for a midfielder. He now looks ready to step up a level. Another player we like is Roms Azomatusiwa, who moved from Groningen last summer but has not missed a beat. Defensively more aggressive than Svangberg, Matusiwa excels at covering space in front of his back line while also offering probing passes between the lines. His creativity has dropped at Rom due to the job he's being asked to do, but if he can marry his defensive output in France with his passing in the Eredivisie, he'd be a pretty complete deep central midfielder. But our pick is an upgrade and one who might be attainable. Lyon's Maxence Cacare. He's absolutely not a midfield destroyer, rather a cultured deep passer who offers a serious volume of pressures, tackles and interceptions, despite his relatively slight frame. He's assertive, pushing up to defend, which would help Arsenal in their midfield battles against better sides. And he also likes to drop back into the left half space ahead of the defence, like Lekonga or Xhaka, to spray passes long or pass through the lines. Lyon would put up a fight for such a talented young midfielder, but with only 18 months left on his contract, Arsenal could secure a real talent with a sizeable bid. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic brings you the best sports journalism in the world in a personalised experience, connecting you with the stories and teams that you care about the most. There's coverage of 13 sports, plus direct access to world-class journalists through live Q&As, discussions and podcasts. Not to mention, it's all ad-free. And you can try it now for free for 30 days by clicking the link in the description.